This video is brought to you by Jetta, makers of some amazing Model 3 and Model Y accessories like the Jetta USB hub and the Jetta wireless charge pad. The Ford Motor Company sold 2.5 million cars in 2019 and operates over 65 factories around the world, yet only trades at about $20 billion in market value. In comparison, Tesla is worth over $160 billion and has made about a million cars in its lifetime. How can that be? Well, the answer really is Tesla does so much more than just produce cars. For example, they have plans to build a virtual power plant. So before we talk about how Tesla is going to revolutionize energy, let's define a couple of terms. First is V2G or vehicle to grid. Traditionally, when you plug in your Tesla, you are charging from the grid. So that would be grid to vehicle. This would be the opposite. This would be allowing cars to convert their DC from the battery packs to AC to send it off to the grid to help power your house or your neighborhood. The second thing is a VPP or virtual power plant. And that is what Tesla is in the midst of designing right now. You might have seen in the news a couple of weeks ago that teardowns of the Model 3 and the Model Y have shown that these cars are actually already built with the hardware required for V2G. But Tesla's policy has always been not to allow V2G. And the reason for this are pretty apparent. If you allow your car to charge and discharge every night to power your house, those are battery cycles and degradation that are happening while your car is not moving. So Tesla would have to continue to honor their warranty of a certain level of degradation within, let's say, 100,000 miles while you're actually not going anywhere. So the degradation and loss of range while not actually using your car as a car is why they haven't supported this in the past. But if you're as excited as I am for Battery Investor Day, which is coming up, you know that Tesla is probably going to announce a brand new battery chemistry that will be good for a 1 million mile battery pack. So to put this into perspective, current Teslas last, let's say, two to 300,000 miles. And that's because if you get 1,000 charge cycles and you go 200 or 300 miles per charge, you'll be roughly around that figure. So we're talking about batteries that will go three times as far. And when you can get a million mile battery pack, that might be when you can allow your car to charge your home and not just run as a car. The reason for this is pretty simple. Right now, as I'm filming this video, my solar panels are generating two kilowatts of energy. That means that over two hours, I'll have generated two kilowatt hours of energy in excess of what I needed. That will be used as a credit on my bill. But just as easily, I could charge my car with that energy. And then when four to nine comes around, the peak times when the energy prices double here in San Diego, I could then run my house from that energy and save all that money. But what gets even more interesting is when you think about using your car as a virtual power plant to not just power your own home, but your neighbor's homes or people in your neighborhood in general. Tesla has actually already been working on the software to support this. It's called AutoBidder. And this is a software that will allow people to bid and sell energy based on the demand and the price. Think of like a trading platform like E-Trade, where you buy and sell stock. You put a bid for this price, and if there are people selling at that price, the transaction happens, and vice versa. This would be the same sort of a situation where, let's say right now there's a cloudy day and I don't have enough energy production for my solar panels, and I need electricity right now. I could bid and say, I'll buy electricity for 10 cents. And if there's all these different Teslas with batteries plugged in V2G, ready to provide that power, they could say, yeah, I, I'm willing to do that. I'll sell you my energy at 10 cents. And now suddenly I'm not buying it from a power plant. I'm buying it from another Tesla owner. So the reason why this is so incredibly powerful for Tesla is because Tesla has sold over a million cars. And if all those were on the road today and the average pack size is 75 kilowatt hours, then that means that Tesla has a potential 75 gigawatt hour capacity of battery storage that they could use for their VPP. And to put that into perspective, if the average home consumed 30 kilowatt hours, 
that would be enough energy to power 2.5 million homes. And Tesla's rate of sales is only accelerating. And as more EV makers enter the scene, there will be more cars with this potential. Your gasoline powered car when it's not being used as a car is utterly useless and cannot do any work for you. In comparison, your EV could actually be a virtual power plant while it's parked. So the benefits of this are not just for the owners, but also for Tesla. Imagine a system where Tesla will go out to all the utility companies in America and around the world and compete to say, I want to become a power supplier for you. They could use their auto bidder system and say, when you need power, instead of reaching out to such and such power plant, which maybe burns coal or some other dirtier source, reach out to us and we will supply it. And when you have excess, for example, because you have all these homeowners who have solar and there's tons of extra, we will buy it from you at a cheaper price and store it into our battery packs as well. So now, let's say you're driving to work or driving to wherever you're gonna go. You know how much range you need to get back home. Your car would know that. And it would be able to use some of the other range beyond that to buy and sell energy for you and make you money. And Tesla could make a commission on a little cut of this based on the model of ownership. If you buy your car and you own the car, let's say you keep 80% or something and Tesla keeps 20%. Or another really interesting move could be that future Tesla leases could be dramatically cheaper because part of the stipulation would be that you would keep your car plugged in at all times or over a inductive charge pad or coil. And as a result, you would be in the program and Tesla could take your energy and buy and sell and use your battery bank as a energy storage medium. We all know that power walls have been incredibly scarce. I have been waiting over two years to get mine. And the reason why is because Tesla is cell starved. They're selling their cars as quickly as they can make them. And as their batteries come in, they're getting used up for cars. So power walls are smaller. They're 13.5 kilowatt hours in capacity compared to a 70 kilowatt hour battery that I have in my garage already. Plus, being on wheels means you're not limited to just your house. You would have this portable power station wherever you went. So if you're a homeowner, you plug in your car and you are creating electricity and making money based on the right times. So just like a stock, you wanna buy low and sell high. To get an idea of just how powerful this could be for any future Tesla owner with the million mile battery packs, imagine this. For me in San Diego, my Tesla could be buying energy at very cheap times of the day. For example, from midnight to 6 a.m. for me as an EV owner, I pay nine cents. Also remember that during really peak generation times for solar, the energy is actually thrown away and wasted because there's no demand for it. So that energy might be even cheaper, maybe two or three cents per kilowatt hour. But let's say for the purpose of example, I'm gonna buy it at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And out of my 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, let's say I only wanna trade 40 kilowatt hours worth. So I have a little bit of a reserve just because I have to go anywhere. So now I would be buying at 10 cents and I would be discharging that entire 40 kilowatt hours and selling it to people who need it between four and 9 p.m. when solar is fading out. And I would be selling it, let's say at 50 cents here in San Diego. That difference is 40 cents times 40 kilowatt hours would be $16 a day. And $16 a day is $480 a month. That would be enough to pay for your entire lease if you lease the Tesla Model 3 long range. Is that pretty exciting? You bet. Imagine what Tesla could do if they said, you allow us to trade some part of your battery pack and when you lease the car from us, we'll give you a lease of, of a Tesla Model 3 for $200 a month. Um, that day can come. And that is what is so incredibly impressive about what they are doing. And Tesla seems to have that vision that very few other companies have because AutoBidder, their software platform for buying and selling energy, is already ready and is actually currently already being used in Australia. And let's not forget just the economic aspect of this, but the battery backup option as well. If you had a natural disaster or something else really bad happened, imagine using your car to run your entire house. And if you have solar, then you can charge that back the next day. I recently just upgraded my solar from five panels and a 1.2 kilowatt system to 17 panels and a total of about five kilowatts. And I'm so excited. I love watching that data. 
but I am so aware of just how limited solar is. And without battery backup, solar is good but not great. And that's because people, when they need electricity and when people are generating electricity, those don't often line up. And it's called the duck curve. And I've made videos talking about it. But if we could throw in battery backup at large scales by including all people who already own electric vehicles, that would be absolutely game changing. And this all is made possible first and foremost by longer lasting batteries. And a million mile battery shouldn't sound too crazy to you because lower energy density batteries like lithium iron phosphate are already good and rated for well over 4,000 cycles of life before they degrade to let's say 80%. So to get to a million miles is not really that difficult with a big battery pack. And to be honest, two million mile battery packs are probably well on our time horizon. And this speaks nothing to what happens when we have solid state batteries as well. So when you buy a Tesla vehicle, especially the future models with a million mile battery pack, you're not just subscribing to a future of cleaner transportation, you're potentially also solving the greatest challenge that we have with clean energy, which is battery storage for the entire electric grid. When I bought my Tesla, I had a feeling that the best was yet to come, that Elon and the Tesla team would continue to make my car better. And I'm hoping that even though I have the old battery pack, that they'll have some sort of a recycling program where I can maybe upgrade my batteries to the new batteries and to join this program. And Tesla truly has fixed most of my gripes with the car. Like for example, being able to view your dash cam footage in car. How amazing is that? And that's where the sponsor of this video, Jetta, comes in. Jetta makes one of my favorite things for the Model 3. And the greatest compliment that I can give it is that this product feels like it should have been part of the car from the factory. It is a great solution to add more charging ports to your vehicle. And it also gives you a place to privately and securely hold a drive for all that dash cam and sentry footage. So now I can charge two phones wirelessly in the center console or one phone in a landscape orientation. They make some incredibly high-end products that have the fit and finish that look like stock Tesla parts. In fact, if you saw my Model 3 and you didn't know any better, you would not know that these were aftermarket accessories. So we'll put links to buy them below and um, definitely check them out if you're into Tesla Model 3 and Model Y accessories. Also a special thank you to Tony Pham of 1975 Creations who sent me this, his latest version of the Bandit, which is the no hassle, no hardware license plate mount for your Tesla Model 3 and Y. This is the Quick Bandit, which has no hardware or screws and it just installs with one single latch. So Tony is one of my favorite viewers. He's actually the person who has made our corporate sign here you see in the office and my coffee mugs. And it was so awesome meeting you in March for my birthday. Thank you for making it down for that. And uh, I'll have a link to the bandit where you can buy it below. And also a huge thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. These times have been pretty hard to predict, but your support on Patreon has been huge. So if you want to be a special rock star supporter of this show, consider joining us on Patreon. So that pretty much wraps it up for us. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button so you don't miss our future content. And don't forget to share this video if it was cool or helpful to you. And um, leave us your comments and let us know what you think and if there's anything else that you'd want us to cover in the future. Thank you again. I'm Ricky with Tuba Da Vinci, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.